that one, when one serves one country, one must serve with one extra. Fairness, justice, diligence and compassion. As I've said repeatedly, this war against corruption is a war we must fight and it is a war that we must win. I have fully empowered the Anti-Corruption Commission to use all legal powers to relentlessly investigate and prosecute all cases of corruption, even in my administration. Therefore, let me make this solemn promise to the nation that anyone found wanting of corruption in my administration will be promptly removed from public office and subjected to the full force of the law. As a government, our fight against corruption is and will remain as consistent as it is robust. As a country, we must put an end to this culture of rampant thieving, abuse, waste, and impunity. We must foster a culture of public accountability. The commissions of inquiry are a public commitment by us as Sierra Leoneans to rid our country of corruption, fraud, and waste. Therefore, the war against corruption is not just a fight for my government. I call on all political parties, ethnic groups, regions, NGOs, CSO, religious bodies, and Sierra Leoneans at home and abroad to join the war against corruption. The commissions of inquiry are a part of the war against corruption. As a people, the commissions of inquiry give an opportunity to hold accountable those who once been, were, were entrusted with public offices. We owe it to our country. We owe it to our compatriots and generations yet unborn to get it right once and for all, for the good of all. This is about democratic accountability and our collective determination to win the war against corruption. Let me end by reiterating that all those who will be invited by the commissions of inquiry must fully comply. Anyone, and I repeat, anyone who fails to honor the invitation of the commissions of inquiry will face the full force of the law. I therefore formally launch the commissions of inquiry. Thank you all.
Thank you for accepting to be here. 